Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at grid layout inside the WPF or Windows Presentation Foundation application using the Visual Studio 2022. We also look at both row and column definitions. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So a grid is a very powerful and useful layout in a WPF application. It enables you to arrange children elements in cells defined by rows and columns. So when you add a new XAML document or create a new WPF project in a Visual Studio, Visual Studio automatically adds a grid as the first container inside the window elements. So enough of all this talking and let's get to it then. So before you can get, we can get started or you can create a WPF application, you have to make sure that you've got the WPF or the desktop development workloads installed. So we can do this by looking at the inside the installer. But if you have already installed a WPF, then you can skip this part, yeah? So to do that, we have to open the Visual Studio installer. As you can see here, yeah, I'm using the uh, Visual Studio 2022, the community version. So we click on the modify. So here, as you can see, we've got a bunch of workloads that we can actually add to our to, I mean, Visual Studio. So we add the deck, the .NET desktop development. This will actually help you to build WPF, Windows Forms, console application using C Sharp, Visual Basic, and whatnot, yeah? So as you can see, I've got this box already checked. But if you haven't installed it, make sure you check this box and download and install it, yeah? So I'm just going to close it. So once you're done with that bit here, you close the installer. So we open the Visual Studio. As you can see, I have it open already. So we, we go on to create a new project. So we click on the create a new project. So here, we'll be able to select the WPF application. So as you can see on this bit here, I've actually selected the desktop here. Yeah? And I've got all languages here. So we use the WPF, the C Sharp version of it, yeah? So we select the WPF application, C Sharp language, and we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details. We're not going to look through that. We click on the next. And here, obviously, you can also set your .NET framework. So by we click on the create. So this actually might take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing creates, yeah? So as you can see here now, we've got the WPF application created for us. And we have the main window.xaml added. So basically, we're going to look at this. I mean, this, this video, we will look at the, the XAML coding, yeah? So as you can see, by default, we have the grid, one grid added inside the window elements, yeah? So by default, if there's nothing here showing, that means the grid has one column and one row. Yeah. So this is how we can define or we can set up our layouts. In this for this video, we look at three by three columns and, and rows. Yeah. So this is how we do it. So inside our grid here, yeah, first of all, we define our rows. So we can do that by typing the grid. or grid dot row, de row definitions, yeah? So we put our row definitions here. So first, we put our row definition. So there are two types of setting up our rows here. There's an absolute sizing and a proportional sizing, yeah? For the absolute sizing, you can set up, you can set up, I mean, you can predefine or you can type in the pixel value of the highest, and then the proportional side too, we can use the star. So in this case here, we have one row, so we can just copy this bit here. So we actually paste it three times, meaning we have three rows. So as you can see here, we've got the outline here on the, on the visual side of it, yeah? So in this case, we've got um, the three equal size of rows, yeah? But we can change it, we can change the star and put a value there. So this will actually set the value. As we can see, it set the value for the for the row. So let's keep it simple. 
So three equal size of rows, yeah. And then we do the same for for our columns, yeah. So we come outside the, the grid dot row definition, then we set our grid dot column definitions, yeah. So we do the same for the column, yeah. So column definitions. So column definitions and the width is gonna put star. So in this case, we've got three rows and, and one column. So we're gonna copy and paste it three times so that we get three rows, three by three rows and three columns, yeah? So we paste it here, paste it again. So as you can see here now, you've got um, nine boxes, meaning we have three rows and three columns, yeah? So it's a very simple stuff here in terms of using the proportional sizing, yeah. But obviously, if you want, if you have a predefined sizing, then you can you can use the absolute sizing, yeah. So this is how we access our rows and columns. Yeah. So I'm just gonna um, put this bit up a bit. Yeah. So we come inside the grid here. In this case, we're gonna use a test block here. Yeah? So we put our test test block here. And first of all, we're just gonna set the background so that <clears throat> we will know what we're dealing with. So we're gonna set it to blue. So as you can see by default, yeah, by default, we have the we have the, the, the first on the first box selected. So this is how we can access any box that we want to use, yeah. So first of all, we say grid dot column. So we can it's, we can put a number starting from zero. So if we say, okay, let's put the um, the grid dot row first, yeah. So basically, if we have zero row and zero column, it means we actually setting it to the first the first box. But we can also have a zero column and one row. So as you can see, it's got is is the first second. So as you can see, we have the the color denoting that. Yeah. So we can put also two. So as you can see, we've got it here. So basically, by setting the grid or row numbers, you can you can you, you can get to work with the with a, with the layout or the box that you want to use, right? So as you can see, this is a very simple stuff here. We're getting you started in terms of the grid, the grid layouts. Yeah. So on the next video, we we'll get we we'll get into more into more much more details by using the uh, the row span and the, the call span and whatnot. Yeah. So basically, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace. I hope this is simple enough for you to understand it anyway.